on November 19, 1977, Amtrak Southwest Limited train number four was making its way across Colorado. The train consisted of four SDP-40F locomotives, with number 503 leading, then 529, 522, and 555. The first three at this time had been painted in Amtrak's Phase 2 paint, while one retained Phase 1 paint with the Pointless Arrow logo. They were pulling 14 cars, including a deadheading dome car at the front, a baggage car, a baggage dorm, five ex Santa Fe high levels, and six single level cars. The train departed Trinidad, Colorado, headed eastbound into the night. Just after 7.30 p.m., the train rounds a curve and the engineer sees something. A truck sitting on the tracks. The train goes into emergency, but it's doing about 80 miles per hour, and as a result, The train crashes into the truck and derails. All four engines fly off the track and land on their sides. Ten of the 14 passenger cars derail as well. Thankfully no one is killed in this wreck, and those uninjured were taken to La Junta before continuing their journeys. But here's something strange. Trains usually hit vehicles without a derailment, so how is this different? Here's why. The truck wasn't at a crossing. What's suspected is the occupants stole the truck and got out to steal some railroad ties that would be later used for a maintenance project. It's also said that the truck was parked on the tracks deliberately, and when the train hit, the truck was dragged to a nearby switch, thus causing the train to derail. In the end, all four of the SDP-40Fs were withdrawn from service and scrapped. Their parts were used to build new F-40PHRs for Amtrak. 555's part were used for 281, 503's for 282, 522's for 283, and 529s for 284. Today, Delhi is known for having a classic wigwag signal, one of the few such signals still active in the US. But just a few hundred feet away is the site of this derailment. One that isn't very well known, but one that will always be a part of Delhi's history forever.